thanks now to a heartwarming story for you tonight. A moment at a high school football game, in fact. It was homecoming at Strom Thurmond High, and a candidate for Queen wasn't feeling well. To make herself feel a bit better, she took off her shoes. That's where the heartwarming part starts. News Channel 6's Devin Johnson joins us now. Brad, Natalie Dale has Down syndrome and epilepsy. When the homecoming court learned she wasn't well on her feet, they kicked off their shoes and agreed to walk barefoot in support of Natalie. Becoming homecoming queen is a dream for most teenage girls in high school. The sound in that stadium Friday night when her name was announced was enough to tell anyone how that school feels about her. You couldn't even hear it. I mean, it was unbelievable. Homecoming is always a fun time for students. But a recent celebration at Strom Thurmond High School was extra special. For Natalie Dill, she got the surprise of her life. She won the title as Strom Thurmond's homecoming queen. But her family says the big takeaway is knowing folks are including people with disabilities. Her never having to deal with any of that. You know, all the negative stuff that you always hear about in the news and all the things that you worry about, especially with having a special needs kid. You always are worried about, you know, are they going to be accepted? Are they going to be included? One student on the homecoming court says if she won, she was going to give up the crown to let her fellow classmates shine. In my heart, that was just the right thing to do. I really wanted to give my crown to her because that was just where my heart was. Mouse tells me love has no disability. Remember what my parents always told me to love everybody. That's just... To love everybody regardless of any situation they're in. The new homecoming queen says all of the girls on the homecoming court are queens. Was it nervous trying to figure out who was going to be queen? I wasn't nervous at all. You weren't nervous? Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Johanna Miles believes acts of kindness like the one displayed at homecoming will be a tradition for Strom Thurmond. And Natalie says she plans to join the life program at Clemson University after she graduates this year. Brad, back to you. Awesome story, Devin. Thanks for that.